In today's video, we move forward with making the pontoons for the cat. I'm starting with cladding uh, one side of the uh, foam block. I've got the seam uh, two feet from the end, so that way uh, there's the seam in the uh, plywood doesn't line up with either of the seams in the foam. And I'll do the same thing on the other side, except that it'll be two, uh, two feet from this side. So today I'll need to cut off this piece here and uh, put it on the other end. And then we're going to do a flotation uh, test. And then after that, I'm going to uh, uh, sand down a, a lead in here for the waves. I don't plan to take this boat out in rough weather, but even if there's just a slight breeze, there's a little bit of a chop. So uh, I want a little bit of a lead in and a rounded edge on each pontoon. Also, as you can see, I've decided to take off the silver foil. I don't think that uh, I don't think that it bonds as well to the styrofoam as the Gorilla Glue does. So I was concerned that the cladding would delaminate if I uh, if I left that on there. I seem to have much better luck this time with the Gorilla Glue. I haven't noticed any problems with adhesion here on the uh, on the boards that I've made in the past. I did have some problems with it here and there, but I may have been sloppy with making sure that one surface got wet. With two of us on the board, more than half the pontoon is still out of the water. It's bowing somewhat. Uh, it's still quite flexible. I'll take care of that with the uh, deck, but I think this is going to be plenty flotation. So as the boat goes through the water, we want a little bit of a lead in. So for small waves that we're not just plowing through them, but coming up on them a little bit. So I've marked the line here, 20 inches, which I think would be a, a nice distance. Totally arbitrary, but uh, just kind of a thought. And we're going to take that angle down to halfway. So right here where the two boards meet. So then the idea is it's going to be an angle and then we'll round it off a little bit and then clad it with uh, some more plywood. As with the uh, stand-up paddle boards, I'm going to be doing my shaping with this piece of 2x6 that has some sandpaper glued to it, or uh, broken sanding belts. I guess I was expecting this white foam to sand a lot faster than the pink stuff the uh, extruded. So uh, this is going to take forever. So I'm going to go ahead and use this pull saw to start removing a little bit bigger chunks of material to start off with. After some time sanding with my block, I think I got that angle pretty good. I got a straight edge, and as I drag it down this face, the edge is pretty flat, trying different directions. So, pretty happy with that. I'm going to go ahead and round this off just a little bit yet. And then I'll glue my cladding on. So tomorrow, I'll cut off this two foot section here at the end, and that'll go all the way on the other end. So I've got my cladding complete, top and bottom. Kind of a time consuming process because you have to wait for some of the glue to dry before you can go on to the next step. But uh, I got a nice lead in here. So I think we're moving in a nice direction. In the next video, we'll take it to the next step. Continuing to move forward. Thanks for watching my video, and have a great day. Also, if you have thoughts and ideas on the process, please leave a comment below. I try to read them all. Thanks.